What's up everyone, Mariah here on day 15 of my refeed after my 54 day long fast. My sleep was rough last night. Went to bed at 10, woke up around 12.20, was up for about an hour and a half, went back to sleep for a couple of hours, was up again for an hour and a half, back to sleep for a couple of hours. I have been fasting for approximately 66 hours. One thing that I do get asked about frequently is dreaming and fasting. I had some really intense dreams last night. Honestly, very, very negative and things that connected to my biggest fear. And it was crazy because when I woke up, the first thing I thought of immediately was this person needs to go on a carnivore diet to help them overcome what they need to overcome and prevent some things from happening. Honestly, it was just dark and I don't want to expose anyone and so I'm gonna just not really talk about it. But yes, dreaming does occur pretty intensely when you fast and I experienced this during my 54 day long fast. What I noticed was my dreams were just vivid. I would always remember them and it wasn't like I would remember them right when I woke up. It was dreams that I still remember till this day. So what I noticed about my long extended fast was in the beginning my sleep was really bad and then my sleep got better and then towards the end of my fast my sleep was getting worse. And so it was just, your, you know, your body adjusting and getting used to things. So what happens is I basically wake up and I have, it's almost like energy, so much excess energy. So what I highly recommend is have something near your bed to be productive with or have a podcast ready to go to try to put you back to sleep. You wake up in a state of mind that's just ready to go. Like it's a state where you're like, wow, I wish that I would wake up one minute before my alarm went off every day in this space, in this state of mind with this type of energy because it feels like a natural wake up. So I've been fasting for about 66 hours. My dry fast is somewhere like in the 50 hour range at this point and I'm feeling good. I'm not hungry. I'm not sure if I'm going to refeed today when I hit 72 hours or any time after that. I might go until tomorrow. I'm going to go with the flow and play it by ear. But what I have noticed is that when I want to fast longer, as soon as I hit 6 p.m., it's kind of at the point where it's like I'm getting closer to bed and I think to myself like if I can just fall asleep tonight, that's going to add, you know, so many extra hours to my refeed, especially because I'm going to sleep about eight hours. I'm not going to have breakfast. That'll take me to like noon. So that's one tip or trick that I have for you when it comes to fasting longer. Cut yourself off. You're like if I don't eat by six, then I am not going to eat until the next day. And then, you know, let's say you go to bed till 10, that's four hours. Then you, you know, sleep eight hours. That's another eight hours onto your fast. So that is one thing that I have learned when fasting. And there are people that complain about not being able to sleep because they can't go to sleep hungry, but I've never experienced that. I feel like that's just a lame excuse to be honest because we all know true hunger is experienced in the throat and out of the stomach. I am currently sitting on the ground at Macy's waiting for my dad and brother to pick out clothes, but my back hurts so bad. I don't even have the energy to stand. All right, I'm calling it a day. It's 8.30 and I am ready for bed. Lesson of the day is sleep. You're fasting sleeping because if you don't sleep, you're gonna feel like crap and this is giving me flashbacks of my long-term fasting when I didn't sleep, how horrible I felt. It's intensified. Well, so just please sleep. Go out there and create a life you love.